So what's the plan for this week as a whole? This You're week. here with both Pat and Freya all week. Yeah, so we're, we're like, it's just like a reconnect. Like it's good to touch base with the athletes before competition, especially Freya. Freya is going to her first like live qualification competition for the games. So it's like just making sure that everyone's calm, collected, talk about little details that you can't talk about when you're remote. So pacing, like feeling out how the athlete is reacting and stuff like that. But I'm get, taking advantage of Pat's experience and Freya's like um, rookiness and putting them together it means that they're going to feed off of each other a little bit. And I think Pat is so used to doing things on his own time and on his own that it's good to have someone to kind of like, you know, do that for him and organize everything. But I'm just going to get some really good training in and, you know, have fun. Yeah. Well, what do you want to do? Five times this way, five times that way. Do that dance again. <laughs> Up and down. So what are we doing here? You know Handstand ramp practice. The teacher before she starts to go back to the to the to the workforce thing. That would got you into fitness. Uh, well, no. I got into fitness because of that breakup. Thanks for asking. Because of that breakup, revenge body. Uh, went through a bad breakup, and then in order to refine who I was and find myself again, I went back to the gym after multiple years of not doing anything. I think you did a squat. <laughs> Michelle needs to tell her story. Yeah. That's good. It was a bad breakup. And then I went to the gym. And then I was stronger <laughs> than a lot of the guys in the gym. <laughs> I forgot that when I come coach to these things, I actually have to tell them what to do. Oh, I would fully just do hands up walk cold. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. I think somebody was surprised you warmed up in the, your last video. The last time we had this, you had me doing 50 feet with a turn, so like 50 feet yeah. unbroken. Yeah. And I fully walked in the gym and just put this down and did it. <laughs> <laughs> that was my warm up. Uh, yeah. Thoughts on what? thoughts on I, Pat's I, warm up? I can't say anything because I was the same. I had no misses. <laughs> <laughs> Went great. They got I, better. They got better as I went. <laughs> I only started actually doing proper warm ups when I was an athlete when Ben Bergeron started programming like 20 minute EMOMs. And those were my warm ups. Strangely enough, like I would do like JG sit ups and wall balls in my warm up. Um, and then we're going to do 10 alternating plank toe taps. So it's like doing a downward dog with pressing your ankle. Should I just rip this cold? Just do the ramp cold? You want me to film? <laughs> I can film. After. Once, once, they, once Frey it. gets out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you're there! <laughs> yeah! Oh. Yes. <laughs> can you do this with your tongue? No, definitely not. Only like 30% of can do that. Wait, that's a, that's a real thing? I don't know if that's the exact it's like a genetic. It, it's a genetic mutation. The, uh, the like, clover? Yeah. Oh, look at yeah. you. We're wow. like, we're part of the All same right, family. So put your tongues away. <laughs> <laughs> you You've never done the ramp? I'm slow, but like... I can spot you for the first time. Watch him miss the ramp because I made him warm up. See what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm saying, because it's a bit lighter. Like, Imagine if you have to lift. Oh, I can do it Breathe, 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 breathe. Good. It's time. Okay. Yeah, like it takes like a year. You just got her first yeah. time on a ramp. I didn't realize how inclined it would feel. I thought it would just be easy to go up the. No, you gotta like lean into it. You kinda have to, yeah. Well, that's so you don't want to be so far yeah. that you hit the flat spot at the top and then you like yeah. shoot. Down. But I felt that it leveled out right away and I was like, oh, that's stairs. That's the trick. Sometimes you like 
sometimes I'll start to level off too early and then you like walk the last two steps on the incline really, really slow. How is it walking down the ramp though? Do you easier, just... easier. Okay. It's not so bad. Like you don't feel like you're gonna like fly. <laughs> What do you think there? Um, well, I think if it's a straight shot instead of an out and back every round, that's a lot easier uh, in terms of time with like half as many stop and starts. Yeah. But good to train it this way. Kind of what I thought. It's like the legless is less of a factor than you want it to be. I feel like you want to conserve energy, telling yourself that you've got to be like ready for the rope climb, but you don't really have to. You got to push the run. And so it'll be interesting to see how they do that transition. Yeah. That would make a big difference about how it feels and how you attack it. Because if you've got to be crisp in transitions or if we're doing, you know, outback, outback climb, as opposed to just longer straightaways, it'll make a big difference in terms of time. You think a chest piece would make much of a difference? Uh, in feel anyways? I don't know. I think probably, yeah, like the routine of it, and like physically having to move something takes a couple seconds. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it costs time. But so does the stop and start. So if you're, uh, like we practice it with that kind of extra shuttles. And I think, you know, that more than makes up for the time when you're chest piece. So I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's, like it's a huge, huge difference. Like that was probably fine. But, you know, good to know what that feels like. If you really want a gun, you have to push harder on the run. Yeah. And then most guys will survive those rope climbs. Do you think you'll end up doing that again with different variations, or are you just gonna leave it? Uh, I don't know if we'll do the whole workout, but I will be willing to bet we'll be doing some intervals of that kind of stuff, <laughs> like those climbing. And Did you see the Grinch smile there? That kind of, yes. Take a breath before. Big jump. Take a breath. Keep your knees high. When you're ready. Keep going, keep going. Good job. Good, run it out. <laughs> Get all the way to the rope. Good. 540. 
Uh, yeah, roughly. Yeah, 540. Good job. That felt good. Yeah, it felt really good. Yeah, nice and You went nice out a little control. fast. Yeah, I noticed I had to slow down my runs yeah. right away. You started off at 25 seconds and Pat's at 22 seconds yeah. around, so. And then clearly the 10 rope climbs aren't going to be a crazy factor. The, ro the factor for you and what you're going to need to manage is just your speed in the beginning. Yeah. You're going to want to go faster because yeah. it's going to be a race. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't too bad. What did you think of that? I feel like you start to feel the power kind of go. Yeah. Like, it's hard. This is a, I know what this feels like. Underneath. Like, yeah. it's very, like she said, like, you, you think a lot. And then you're like, am I ready? Can I do this? Constant. This is a workout that is constant doubt. I mean, for, for guys, maybe not as much, but for a lot of girls, it's always going to be like, can I do this? I can do this. Stop. I went too fast. You know, it's like a lot of thinking. So if you get in your head and you make this workout very, very methodical, like, okay, run out, touch this, run back, count to five, jump, pull, done. And if you get into that, um, how do you call it, that, um, what's the word, you know, the thing they use in piano to set a... Metronome. A metronome. You have to become a metronome in this kind of workout. All right, so what's next here? Um, now they are doing... Uh, like a jerk complex because we were announced the barbell complex. Mm -hmm. They're not going to do the barbell complex because yesterday they cleaned pretty heavy. So we're going to do three dips, three dip holds and one jerk. So getting their legs tired a little bit before they actually go for a max jerk. And the load on the dip holds is 100% is of their best clean and jerk. And then the jerk is going to be, we're going to strip off 20 pounds from that and we're going to do the jerk. Pushing that back will help you reduce the depth of your dip and it's going to help you land the bar at, at the right place. So in this specific exercise, we're going to do that dip hold okay? and then once you re-rack and you take off their load, before you jerk, I want you, I want you to make sure that the weight is at the right place in the mid-back foot. Okay? Dodgeball. Dodgeball. Wow. God, Michelle is so cool. She's cool. Michelle does things like she. I want her to be my mom. Chin up, chin up, chin up. Don't dip as low. Get ready for the ball, baby. Can we go watch her? Okay. She goes. I feel like when she got back, she's like, I don't want to go. She was, huh? She was a bit tired after work this morning, and she was saying she wanted to go. You what is, what's your the workout? workout? Well, I mean, it was a bike and then some kettlebell swings and some box jumps and some dips. <laughs> if I did dips like today, I would probably explode. <laughs> I haven't done dips in a long time. Some people can just wear their legs out of the squat and then jerk and be fine. Yeah. I get right there, come on. I'm right out. Hey! <laughs> I think we're gonna see so many ugly jerks. <laughs> oh, I can, yeah. I agree. All right, guys. Stay connected to the bar. Put your weight in the back of your feet. Chin up. Chin the bar. Good. Up and back. Good. So, what's the next piece? They're gonna do five rounds, and they're gonna do 12 deficit keeping handstand push-ups and six park rounds. Heavyweight, 225, 155. Yeah. Yeah. So, sorry, say the numbers again, 12? So they're doing 12 deficit keeping handstand push-ups and six power cleans, and they're doing that at 225 and 155. Nice. Yeah, nice little, like, traditional couplet. Is it the last piece for today, or is there more? No, there's that? another one very similar to that with power snatches. With power snatches and uh, toad bar. Same idea. It's, it's like uh, 16 toad bar, I think, and 6 power snatches, but the weight is lighter, so they're going to do it at 185 and 135. Nice. You don't have to listen to Pat on everything. Yeah. I 
Actually, in fact, I would pick and choose what I listen to Pat on very <laughs> carefully sometimes. What's your strategy? Yeah, I was not catching them very nice. Yeah, yeah, I was just picking them up and like catching them way on my shoulders. Yeah. They weren't very nice clothes. Some shaky uh, parallettes though, hey? Yeah, and they kept sliding back. Yeah. So I shot the head plate in the people room. Yeah. yeah. I thought they were, it was already like pressed against the wall. Yeah, sometimes when you kept like when you shoot up, They'll just like jostle a little bit. And then kind of like take a second at the bottom before shooting back up. Yeah. Yeah, you know. It's a little extra danger. <laughs> Not the most ideal setup. But it's fine. It's like. Gets it done. You know, that might happen in competition. And then like. It helps me to just say it like. They're moving. Yeah. You know, whatever. Yeah. And then just be like, all right. Figure it out. They're just normal for me. That's how I do parallel head motions. I don't have any other tools. And then we're going to get going on the second piece. And then we're going to finish off with the accessories like get the out of the gym because we've been here for like two hours already. Two, three hours. So we get some real life time. <laughs> What's that? Like outside of the gym? That's when you become Freya Oops. I just broke a nail. Damn it. <laughs> now you really need that manicure. Uh, you know, it's me time. I don't need the manicure. I need someone to pamper me. <laughs> oh. You want to take a nap? I'm taking a nap here. Okay, take a nap right there then. Good night. Alright everybody, hope you enjoyed the show. Enjoyed a little taste of what we take on as we get ready for competition with Deca Comp. Hope you enjoyed my new haircut. It's all for you guys. Like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, give us some ideas of the sort of stuff you'd like to see. And we'll catch you next time.